morning. What was I gonna say? Hey Lloyd, we got a student. What did you say? Hey people, what's up? Exactly. Today is January 23rd. Yes? Yes, no? 23rd? Sure. January 23rd, it is a Monday. Um, it's gonna be a fairly busy day today. Already dropped Mariah off at school. Um, I have my public speaking class um, this morning at 11 o'clock where I will be presenting a poem. It's the first thing that we'll be standing up to present in class, first speech related thing. Um, so that should be interesting. Um, and let's see, Alicia, you're being pretty busy today, right? Yeah, one of my friends is in town from Denmark. So we're going to grab some coffee and maybe go to um, visit BSSM. Sweet. Um, alma mater. Mm -hmm. I've got just some stuff to do around the house. I've got a lot of cleaning I need to do. And I think we're gonna to try to start a new video series today, um, also on this channel. Um, I'm really wanting to start doing some minimizing, you know, pursuit of a minimalist lifestyle and preparing for tiny living when I eventually get my RV. So today I am going to do some purging of my closet and cleaning my room. Um, this will probably be more than a one day project, so I'm probably not going to cover that on my vlogs. I'm going to make a separate video about that. So that should be fun. If you guys are also in pursuit of a minimalist lifestyle, I would love to hear your comments down below about what you guys are doing to pursue that. Um, and if we have any uh, tiny livers out there, I'd like to hear about that too. But what is your tiny living situation? I'm really excited for that transition. Um. Yeah, and other than that, let's just see what this ha this day has in store. It's starting to rain again. I love it when it's raining, but the sun's kind of peeking through. I really love nice people. Um, I finally got first comments, first comments on my channel since I started this past week somebody named the budget bee and I just I don't know I just like it when people have nice things to say you know there's so many mean and rude people on the internet it's just nice it's just nice when people are nice so hey the budget bee thank you for your comments um it actually meant a lot to me and yeah so you are officially the first commenter on the chickadee channel so congratulations if that means anything to you <laughs> thank you for watching so I'm on campus a little bit early. I need to run by the financial aid office and get a few things sorted out. Um, and then I have my public speaking class. Today I am presenting a poem. Um, I'm gonna be reading The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost, which is one of my favorite poems. Robert Frost is a favorite uh, American poet for me because he was in New England and I grew up in New England. So a lot of his poetry is pretty relatable to me. A lot of the imagery used is really relatable. And I've always liked uh, The Road Not Taken. I feel like it's probably a very common favorite poem. It's pretty well known. I think if anybody's studying Robert Frost in school, they're going to read The Road Not Taken. But um, I know it really well and it was perfect length for um, presenting in public speaking. So I'm going to be doing that. So I'm not really, I'm not really nervous. Like I, I've, I'm pretty confident about presenting it. I mean, I'm allowed to read it off of my card, but it is the first time like standing up in front of this class and and presenting anything so I don't know it's a little nerve-wracking the first time for anything but I intend to volunteer early in the class so I can just get it over with that I feel like that's always better than waiting towards the end and just dreading it the whole time so yeah we'll see how that goes hi Gypsy I just walked back in the door from school hi hi my sweet flower oh hi oh big stretch what's your big stretch oh you yeah. Were you taking a nap? How are you feeling today? Yeah, she actually seems to be feeling pretty good today. No more nausea, uh, no more diarrhea that I've noticed. Yeah, ate your breakfast good, and you just had a nice long nap. Yeah, when I leave her unattended, or when I'm not able to watch her closely, I put the, the flower on her. I like to call it her flower cone. But um, when I'm home and, you know, able to keep an eye on her, I take it off because 
she kind of trips over it sometimes. Oh, big stretch. And a flower. Do you need to go potty? Yeah. My sweetheart. She's such a good dog. Yeah, so she's doing good. She's, uh, it's been over a week since her surgery. She gets a recheck next weekend. Or I guess this weekend. She rechecks on Friday. And at that point, we can start going on our walks again. I'm not really supposed to walk her right now. She loves her walks, so. Sorry, baby. Soon, though. A little soon. What you been up to, bro? Uh, just hanging out with Cookie. We're watching uh, YouTube videos. The YouTubes. Yeah, actually, we started watching a show. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. It's called uh, The Man in the High Castle. What's it about? It's a alternate history show where uh, Nazi Germany takes over the U.S. Oh, cool. Yeah. That sounds like fun. What are you talking about? I was just gonna talk about my my public speaking class. Oh. I had to present a poem. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. You just happened to walk in as soon as I started recording. I'll make food. You do that. Um, so yeah, my public speaking class went well. I was the first to present. I decided I don't like waiting. I don't like being the, like sitting there and like, oh, am I next? Am I going to go next? So it was all volunteer basis. Like, you know, whenever you're ready, go up and do it. And so as soon as she opened the floor, I just jumped up and went and presented because I wanted to get it over with. And I think it went well. Um, it was a little shaky. Um, of course, after you always finish, finish one, you're like, oh, I could have done this a little bit better. I could have slowed down a little bit because um, I actually did it pretty fast. I was completed it in 55 seconds, which is a few seconds quicker than what I practiced, which is normal. I talk fast when I'm nervous. Um, so now I have to prepare a story to tell. It can be, it can be a completely made up story, or but she prefers stories that are more like from our own lives, things that have happened to us, our life experiences and stuff. So that I will be presenting next week. So I have to put some thought into that. Um, now I am going to probably find some food to eat and do some reading. I'm gonna read ahead in the chapters. And then I really wanna get onto purging my closet today. That'll be fun. So I had somebody ask me if I knit or crochet. And the answer is that I actually do both, um, but I prefer crocheting. Um, at least recently I've really preferred crocheting um, for the kinds of things I've been doing. I'm making a lot of hats and headbands. I did originally learn how to knit, so I used to make a lot of scarves and things. But it's actually been a really long time since I've knit anything. Um, I've knit blankets, baby blankets and stuff. I used to be a part of a knitting club back years ago, like in 2007 when I was first in college. I actually helped found the knitting club at our college, the, the Fiber Arts Club. It was really awesome being a charter member of that. And we did a lot of knitting, and that's actually where I kind of learned how to crochet. And we would make um, blankets for the homeless, and we made baby blankets and baby hats for the local like um, pregnancy center, which was really cool. And it was really cool because our club would actually meet pretty much every week, or was it like every other week? We would actually meet at the local nursing home, and we would sit down with the ladies there and crochet with them or knit with them. And it was really cool because it gave them company and it was an outlet for them. And then they got to teach us like techniques that up for knitting and crocheting that I never learned before. I learned a lot. It was a lot of fun. But now I pretty much just do crocheting um, on my spare time. Um, and I will make, I will sell hats and uh, headbands and stuff if people want me to make them for them. But I don't make a lot of them. It's not like it's a business or anything. I did try um, an Etsy shop once, but I really had zero success with it. Um, I used to crochet stuffed animals a lot too, which is a lot of fun, but it's also really hard on my hands because um, when you're doing amigurumi, it's like really, really tight stitches. And it was just a lot of strain on my hands. So mostly just do hats and stuff now. Um, I, I'd love to experiment. This is one of my favorite stitches right now. This is called the moss stitch or the granite stitch. And it almost looks kind of like a weave pattern. I really like it. Um, and so this headband that I'm making, I'm making two of them. One's red, one's orange. It's got a little bit of a twist in it. Um, so that, that will probably go more at the front when being worn. Um, I've made a few of these already. I, I like it a lot. 
um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to see if I can figure out a way where I can crochet and read my textbook at the same time. I don't really know how that would work because I kind of need my hands to hold the text open. I don't know. I just, I do crochet a lot while I'm watching videos, but I really need to be reading. So we'll see <laughs> if I can figure out a way to do it. So I just finished the first headband, the red one. Um, this is what it looks like. It's got a little bit of a twist there. I actually came up with this on accident <laughs> one time. I was trying to make just like a flat headband, you know? And I guess when I joined up the chain, I accidentally twisted it. Um, but I really liked how it turned out with the little twist in it. So I've actually made a few of these for other people. Other people have liked them too. I'm gonna put it on real quick so you can see what it looks like. Take that off. So they, the people that wanted these wanted it for the purpose of keeping their ears warm. There we go. All right, so that is what it looks like. They wanted it for covering the ears to help keep them warm. It's not just a, like, not just for holding hair back. It's actually meant to keep them warm. They live up in Washington. Better lighting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it. I feel like, um, I don't know, it kind of makes me feel almost like it's like a turban or something, the way it's twisted. It's not a turban, but you know, like with a twist in it, like it's almost like it was tied on there instead of crocheted that way. But I think it's cute. I like these a lot. Yeah, so that's the first one. And then I just need to make an orange one. Hmm. I probably won't do the orange one today though. Um, I need to really get on to my schoolwork. Uh, yeah, I really was not able to figure out a way to crochet and uh, and read at the same time. So uh, crocheting needs to be put down. School books need to be picked up. Let's do this. I think these are dark-eyed juncos. They frequent my backyard. They have a lot of personality. Okay guys, brace yourself. We're about to go into my disaster zone of a bedroom. At least my bed is made. But yeah, everything else is quite a wreck. This is actually a lot better than it was a couple days ago because my sisters have been awesome and have been going through a lot of their stuff recently. And I figure it'd be about time that I get on the ball and do my share. Um, we got new bunk beds for them this week and I just set up my bed, my own queen bed, all to myself now. So at least the bed is made. That's awesome. I'm taking a little break from cleaning my room and filming my um, minimalizing video that I'm doing um, where I'm purging my clothes and getting rid of stuff. Um, I'm going to take a little break, drink some tea. Um, I might get back to all that tonight, but more than likely that will be a project that will take more than one day so we'll see how much I get done but I've already gotten a lot done the floor you can actually see it now and I can actually get to my closet and close the closet door so that's a big deal Hero, what do you have to say? Gypsy you're snoring while you're awake? What is she doing? Mm -hmm. Dark in here. What's happening? Bird. <laughs> what was she doing? Snoring while awake. 
You're so weird. Hero. Hero. Hi. What are you here to say? You never come over to say hi to me. Oh, you asked me to pet you. That's weird. You're so pretty. Oh, he loves to get inside. I love you. You're so cute. Oh, he's so good. Hero, you're good. You're really good. Good behavior from you. Flossing his teeth. Love that. Hey. Hey. What you got there? A cheeseburger. That's awesome. I like cheeseburgers. I got a salad, but it looks delicious. I don't know what kind of sauce this is, but we're gonna find out. Let's just pray there's no sugar in it. Cause you know, God forbid there'd be sugar in this. I also got bacon fries, but you don't need to see those. Harold, what do you think you're doing? What the heck? Dude, um, about no, this, no. What I was trying to do. Yeah, He's that, licking that the, the lid to my salad. This is my life. Come on. Red, Silly. Ew, he's chewing his toenails. He's like me. Ew, gross. Takes after me and Mariah. Yo, I don't do that. We're gonna watch One Punch Man. This might be the end of the video for today. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and comment if you enjoy these vlogs. If you don't enjoy these vlogs, then just go away. You shouldn't be here. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>